All right, hello YouTube. This is Ryan. I'm the developer of OODA, and OODA is my new uh, step sequencer for iOS and Mac OS. In this video, I'm just going to give you a few tips on how to kind of have the best user experience with the Mac version. If you're interested in learning how OODA actually works, I encourage you to check out the other tutorial videos in this series. Uh, you can get OODA from the Mac App Store, and it is included uh, with your iOS purchase. If it prompts you to pay, uh, you should be able to kind of click through like the buying process and receive the app without actually having to like pay a second time. There are some issues where sometimes the Mac App Store will not like register your purchase and it'll display like a buy button when it should just display like a get button. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you open up OODA on the Mac is click on these three dots and you want to come down and make sure that this persist menus and modifiers switch is enabled. This just makes it so all of the like two-handed gestures from the iOS version are able to be operated with a mouse. I'm going to make sure for this video that my virtual outs are enabled. I'm going to show you how to just hook up OODA with the Moog Model D, and then I'll show you how to use it in Logic. We can toggle our Sidekick synth off and on up here. I'm going to leave it off uh, because I want to use a different synth. So let's bring up the Moog Model 15. Great sounding synth uh, for iOS and Mac OS as well. Got this little mellow keys preset. I'm going to go to settings, I'm going to go to MIDI, and I'm going to make sure that OODA all outs is selected. This is the virtual output from OODA. Now if I come back to OODA and pull up the keyboard, uh, the notes from this keyboard are going to be passed through to the Model 15. We can kind of see those in the background here. So I can go ahead and just record in. So pretty easy to get up and running. Um, I'll just note that the persist menu and modifier switch that we enabled, what that does is if we click and hold, we get these little like pop-up menus and we can scroll through the values. And also these rest and skip and wormhole buttons become latching buttons. So this is also, also useful on the iOS version if you just prefer to uh, be able to use you know, one hand and just make sure you kind of turn those off when you're done with them. We can hear Uda resting there. Yeah, so that's the standalone. Let's take a real quick look at Logic. If I scroll over here, I've actually got OODA already loaded up in the MIDI effects slot of a software instrument. So I can do new software instrument track. I can select an instrument and then load OODA into this MIDI effects slot. Let's go back over here. I do wanna make sure that my track is record enabled. Uh, and then I'm going to bring up OODA's window. So making sure that we're record enabled on the track. Now our keyboard is, is also going to kind of play the instrument. We can disable recording and then when we hit play we'll hear OODA. Not sure what was going on there. This is a beta version of OODA, so all of this will be ironed out before the actual release. And this is just a demo that shows you how to get up and running. So go ahead and give OODA a try on the Mac version. Even though the user interface is optimized for iOS, I encourage you to see the Mac version as like a bonus. And um, I, I've seen people do really interesting things like with ZOA in Logic. 
So definitely have fun, experiment, share how it works for you, and uh, share your music. Use the hashtag Uda Sequencer. I'm always interested to see what people are doing. And um, just thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day making music.